Greetings of the day everyone, this is Tanaka Bless Momandofa and you are watching Global Campus Hub. Let's take a look at the headlines. UK ban on overseas care workers bringing family. Saudi Arabia's keen urges international community to take action against brutal crimes in Gaza. Ukraine donates 25,000 tons of wheat to Nigeria. Donald Trump and Joe Biden set for a rematch as Nikki Harley exits the race. Now let's get into the news and details. Overseas care workers will be restricted from bringing dependent family members with them to the UK under new visa rules that come into force from this week. The UK Home Office had announced the plans earlier and on Monday had said the new rules follow a disproportion 120,000 dependents accompanying 100,000 workers on a care visa route last year. It is claimed the move will radically cut net migration to the UK and tackle visa abuse to bring down unsustainable levels of legal migration. The changes come into force as the government prepares to lay the new rule before Parliament on Thursday. Care providers in England, acting as sponsors for migrants, will also be required to register with the Care Quality Commission, the industry regulator for health and social care, a move the government says will crack down on workers' exploitation and abuse within the sector. The UK government says there is a clear evidence that care workers will have been offered visas under false pretense, travelling thousands of miles for jobs and simply do not exist or be paid below the minimum wage required for them to work, exploiting them while undercutting British workers. The Home Office said its action will prevent the continued undercutting of British workers, which include raising the salary threshold that a skilled worker must meet in order to get a visa and removing the 20% rate discount for migrant workers in shortage occupation. Meanwhile, from April the 4th, the minimum salary required for those arriving on a skilled worker visa will increase from 26,200 Great Britain pound to 38,700 Great Britain pound, a 48% increase. The family member visa also rise starting from 29,000 Great Britain pound and from April the 11th, and by 2025, this will be increased to 38,700 Great Britain pound. Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz has called on the international community to take action against the brutal crimes being committed against Palestinians in Gaza. The king gave his message in a speech read by Saudi Minister of Media Salman al Dosari in which he highlighted the need for safe humanitarian passages in the enclave. He made these remarks at the start of Muslim holy month of Ramadan. In a statement released to the public, the king was quoted by AP saying, as it pains us that the month of Ramzan falls this year in the light of attacks our brothers in Palestine are suffering from, we stress the need for the international community to assume its responsibilities to stop these brutal crimes and provide safe humanitarian and relief corridors. Saudi Arabia has been calling for action almost since the Israel Hamas war started in October. Few days after the war started, Prince Turki al Faisal of Saudi Arabia said he does not support the military option in Palestine. I prefer civil insurrection and civil disobedience. This brought down the British Empire in India and Soviet in East, Eastern Europe. I condemn actions by Hamas and by the government of Israel. Meanwhile, in November 2023, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman urged all nations to seize weapon exports to Israel during an extraordinary BRICS joint meeting, which was being held virtually to address the Israel-Hamas conflict according to Al Arabiya Post. As a move towards tackling the emergency food crisis affecting over 1.3 million people in northern Nigeria, Ukraine has donated 25,000 tons of wheat to the nation.
The contribution is also part of Ukra Ukraine's humanitarian Grain for Grain, Grain from Ukraine initiative launched by President Volodymyr Zelensky. Minister of Information and National Orientation Mohamed Idris says the fact that Nigeria accepted grains from Ukraine does not make Nigeria a weak or failed state. Ukraine is in the throes of devastating war from Russia had recently donated 25,000 tons of wheat as emergency food assistant to 1.3 vulnerable crisis affected people in northeast of Nigeria. Many, including the Labour Party presidential candidate in the last year's general elections, Peter Obi, described the gesture from the war ravaged country as a national disgrace for Nigeria. The minister noted that current national challenges did not begin upon assumption of the office by President Tinibu. He stressed that from going by figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's fuel importation reduced by 50% after fuel subsidy removal, just as the economy pr improved significantly. Mr. Idris noted from the President Tinibu had demonstrated capacity and since his assumption of office had attracted more than $30 billion in foreign investment into the country. Donald Trump and Joe Biden set for rematch as Nikki Haley exits the race after Super Tuesday. Nikki Haley will suspend her presidential campaign, leaving Donald Trump as the major Republican candidate. News agency Associates cited sources as saying her departure clears Trump to focus solely on his likely rematch in November with Biden. Donald Trump is in the race to grab the U.S. presidential post again this year. He won 14 out of 15 primary elections in the Super Tuesday states, including Texas and California. He, however, lost out on a clean sweep after Nikki Haley's surprise win in Vermont. Meanwhile, in the Democratic nomination contest, as expected, U.S. President Joe Biden won all 15 states. However, he lost to little-known challenger Jason Palmer in the small Pacific Ocean territory of American Samal, AFP reported this. Biden has now won 19 out of 20 contests and has more than quadrupled his total number of delegates. He is on a track to win enough delegates to clinch the nomination by March the 19th. As a report polling averages from the Real Clear Politics show Trump two points ahead of Biden in a one-on-one -on -one match up in November election. Meanwhile, a Bloomerage News Morning Consultant survey on swing state voters conducted last month found Biden behind in every battleground state that will likely decide the elections. My name is Tanaka Bless Momandofa and thank you so much for watching Global Campus Hub. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.